Hey there! Today I will show you how to make amazing and delicious ice cream at home. I tried several different methods. I tried the traditional one where you're supposed to churn it every hour, but it's really uh, tedious. And I tried to find other ways and uh, eventually I found a simplified method that really worked. You will just need a metal bowl and a mixer, hand whisk, but the taste is really amazing. After trying this method, I slightly modified it to make it a little bit better, but eventually it gave me the most delicious ice cream that I've tasted in my life. I will show you how to do this in detail. Let's get to the recipe. For this recipe you will need heavy cream. It must be more than 30% of fat content. That's really important. Less than 30% will not do. Then the freshest, best milk possible. I'm using this goat's milk. Uh, it's really good, it's delicious. So ice cream is one of the recipes where the quality of ingredients matters the most. The better your ingredients are, the tastier your, your ice cream will be. Take it into consideration. Next, uh, sugar. This is brown sugar, you can use white sugar, it doesn't really matter. And a little pinch of salt. I will leave all the weights of the ingredients in the description so you can use your scales to measure it precisely because it's important also. In this case, I'm gonna make uh, pumpkin and mango ice cream. You don't have to use pumpkin if you don't want to. I just happen to have it left from the previous recipe. That's why I'm using this uh, pumpkin paste. A very good uh, Philippine mangoes with the delightful taste. Also, you will need a metal um, uh, ball. I mean, this metal ball I'm gonna use. So this is stainless steel. It's uh, really important uh, that your bowl conducts heat very well because we're gonna use it in the freezer copper conducts heat 25 times better than stainless steel so if you happen to have a copper one use it aluminum conducts heat 15, 15 times better than stainless steel so use aluminum in this case i have to use stainless steel because i uh, it's uh, my freezer is very small and that's the only bowl i can fit in so but it's also fine ideally in the beginning you would put some ice here in a bigger bowl and uh, put your ingredients here so it g gives additional um, cold but i found out it's possible to just skip it to avoid this a very important thing is that your cream and milk must be ice cold that's super important you cannot churn, you cannot whip your cream when it's not cold. If it's not cold, it's not gonna whip. It's gonna produce butter, but it's not gonna make stiff, hard peaks. It's not gonna work. Make sure to pop it in the fridge overnight, preferably 20 hours. But if you have just two, three hours, what you can do, you can put your cream, heavy cream in the freezer for like two, one, two hours. It will be ice cold. Just don't forget to remove it, otherwise it will get uh, frozen. But if you put it just for like one, two hours, that, that will be totally fine. And uh, yeah, so these steps are very important. It's important that your cream, heavy cream and um, milk are ice cold. I will put them in the fridge for now and I'll peel the mangoes. I'm going to peel uh, these mangoes, remove all the flesh. and uh, blend this. When you cut the flesh off, make sure to cut everything. Just move your sharp paring knife along the seed, like that, leaving no flesh. Then I'm going to blend them. It's important not to over blend them. I want to have small chunks, but I don't want to make a mesh. Uh, so. I'm going to just blend it for a few seconds, constantly stirring it and that's it, that's pretty much enough. If you blend it too much, it will turn into a mesh and uh, it's not gonna be really good. So if you don't blend it enough, 
it's going to um, the big chunks will uh, freeze and uh, it will not uh, it will not be delicious when you eat your ice cream it will be like pieces of ice so you got to really find the balance here we need to remove all the liquid because if you add it to the ice cream like that this liquid will turn into ice so just just remove all the um, liquid all the mango juice so I strained all the liquid I will add this liquid to the cream and some milk in the beginning and I will reserve the chunks to add them later you can use a silicone spatula in order to take to have no leftovers on your strainer on your bowl it's very really convenient next let's uh, prepare the heavy cream and milk make sure to shake it thoroughly 250 grams of heavy cream ice cold heavy cream One hundred twenty-five grams of ice cold milk with high fat content, that's important. Seventy-five grams of sugar with a pinch of salt. Next, handheld uh, an electric uh, whisk and start mixing it. You can use uh, a hand whisk if you don't happen to have an electric whisk, but that's gonna be really difficult and tedious. I don't recommend it if you have an electric one, it's better to use an electric one. If your heavy cream and milk are not cold, this is not gonna work, they're not gonna increase in volume. Start with the low speed first. Try to move it around the edges to incorporate more air. When you're whipping cream, your goal to make it incorporate as much air as possible. It will take a few minutes. Please know that I did not add the mango juice for now. Because it would make it difficult to whip the cream. So what you need to do is to whip the cream first and then you will be able to incorporate the mangoes. When you whip your cream it's important not to overbeat it. You gotta catch the moment when the peaks are stiff. If you beat it more they will just uh, get lower, they will subside. As you can see they already got quite fluffy and I think that's it that's what you need this uh, very thick whipped cream with milk then I'm going to add uh, the mango juice and mix it one more time okay next I'm going to pop it in the freezer the freezing time depends on your freezer so my freezer is very small and uh, not very strong so I'm gonna put it for about two hours maybe three hours I will look uh, at the result but uh, in your case if you have a really nice big uh, strong uh, powerful freezer you can just put it for one hour that will be enough it also depends on the metal if it's copper it's gonna be super quick if it's uh, stainless steel it will take longer so yeah I will put this in the freezer and uh, show you what to do next uh, it's been two hours a little bit more than two hours as you can see it got way thicker what we're gonna do now is to add the remaining the pumpkin and the remaining mango pieces and thoroughly mix it Now I'm going to put it in the freezer again, but this time for about uh, four or five hours until it gets solid. And when it gets solid, I'm going to mix it one final time to whisk it 
and then I will put it in the freezer for about 24 hours. So now that my freezer is just is much weaker than I expected, this is the result after I left it in the freezer overnight, and this is the state where I should mix it, thoroughly mix it with a whisk, and then put it in the freezer for 24 hours. But if your freezer is really strong, ideally it should take 2-3 hours. So now I'm mixing it thoroughly, and then I'll put it in the freezer. Now it's been more than 24 hours, finally the ice cream is ready, it's very gentle, I can scoop it like that and uh, serve. My uh, freezer is not really strong, so now that um, it took way more time to, to freeze than I expected, it's really important to freeze it for 24 final hours, because it may seem like it's ready, but if you don't do this, it will melt uh, very fast, very quickly. You have to give it some strength by keeping it for 24 hours in the freezer. And yeah, we'll try this. Mm. Incredible, just incredible. It beats uh, star-bought ice cream at all points. It's really delicious, it's full of flavors. And now I'm going to serve it and I will show you the final plating. And here it is, the final plating. I served it with a little bit of cinnamon because it combines well with the pumpkin. This ice cream is just amazing. Homemade ice cream is really good. I encourage you to try this at home. This recipe really works. If you like the video, give it a like. Let me know in comments what you think about this recipe and uh, subscribe to my channel to see my new videos. Thank you for watching.